I am upgrading this QC NVR to a larger capacity. I've ordered the three terabyte Western Digital Purple drives to install them in the NVR. I'm gonna show you how to do that now. Remove the plastic around the NVR. Save the plastic and any other materials used in the packaging in case the NVR has a failure and needs to be RMA'd. Remove the three Phillips screws securing the top cover to the NVR. With the NVR flat on the table, slide the cover towards you and lift up from the back. Now you will remove all of the ties securing the cables in place to make room for the additional hard drives. Start by unboxing each hard drive and securing them with the screws one at a time. Depending on which configuration you purchased, the set will come with accessories. In this case, we need the serial ATA cables located here in this box. Unpack all the accessories and set them aside. The SATA cabling included has a right angle on it. Be sure to orient this correctly when installing the hard drive. Each drive requires a power connector in addition to the SATA cord. Orient them in the fashion that the original hard drive has been installed with. Remove the zip ties in order to clean up the wiring. Each SATA connector goes here. The hard drives are inserted in a fashion where the screws are protruding from the bottom and then slide into the slot that they are oriented in. Open up the bag of screws and prepare them for installation. Also ready the serial ATA cables. The mounting holes are offset for each drive. You will place two screws in each hard drive prior to mounting opposite of each other so that you can slide it into place. Again, just secure the two screws opposite of each other on the hard drive at first, and then when you are finished, you will install the other two screws on the bottom side of the NVR. Secure the unplaced screws first and then go back and tighten all four of them. Check to make sure that the drive you installed is properly aligned with the original source drive. Repeat the process for the remaining drives. Be sure to lift the cabling for the front panel in place of the hard drive. After you have mounted all of the screws, ensure that they are flush with the bottom of the NVR.
Install each serial ATA cable to each hard drive corresponding to the port on the motherboard. Now that everything's in place, we can begin the finalization of cable management. You may use Velcro or a zip tie in this case to secure your cabling. Always try to use flush cutters when cutting your zip ties so that way you get a perfect cut on the edge of the zip tie. Reroute the power cabling for better cooling. Each hard drive needs its own serial ATA connector. There's adequate connectors included with the default power supply. Plug one to each drive and route them in a way so it's easy for cable management. Again, with cooling in mind, secure the power cables in a way that they are easy for cable management, yet efficient on the system for airflow. With all of the power cables secured, we will do the same practices with the serial ATA cabling. Be sure to secure the serial ATA cabling in a way that the lid can still close and it is out of the way of any other components. After all the cabling is in place, ensure that each connector is firmly in place yet not stressed with all of the new tension being put on it. Depending on what environment your NVR is in, it's still a good measure to secure each drive with a little bit of hot glue. Place about a drop worth on each connector, securing it to the chassis. This is easy to remove when you need to replace or remove the drives later, but it's firm enough to hold them in place if there is something that occurs. Verify that you did not get any glue on any other critical components, then place the NVR flat. You may now install the lid to the NVR as the glue dries. Secure the lid again with the three screws that you removed earlier. Inspect the NVR for any damage that may have occurred during the upgrade. This QC series NVR uses QT series IP cameras. Temporarily attach the camera to your system using an ethernet cable. Power on the system with the other accessories and then set up and format the hard drives. At that point you can start using the system.